It's early Saturday morning, and these two weekend inventors are about to be given a normal, everyday household appliance. They have 48 hours to try and make it bigger, better, faster and stronger. Vacuum cleaners. Yep. My most hated household appliance. I hate yep. the noise they make, I hate the way they tip over. I love chores, but if you put a cord on something you this do long... Not love I do, chores. but anything with a cord this long is going to cause trouble. Yeah. <laughs> Give me a look at that. Here you go. This is one of the most powerful vacuum cleaners on the market, Pagey. Your challenge this week is to make it bigger, better, faster, stronger, and clean the carpet after a party. You have 10 minutes each to clean up the soiled room, after which time the carpet will be tested for cleanliness. Good luck. Bring it on. To help them build their vacuum cleaners, Pagey and Coleman have to choose some team members, each of whom have some sweet specialist skills particular to the task at hand, except one, the wild card, whose particular skill is not at all helpful. This week there is a scrap metal welder, a fabrication apprentice, a pneumatics engineer, a motorsport technician and the wild card, a mariachi singer. Um, OK, on my first picture, you, right? Let's have a look. Welcome so to the up. team, mate. You'll be of use somewhere, I imagine. Good on you, bro. The name of my band is the Charro Torres Mariachi Band. You were driving the ute, yeah? Yeah. You're a, no, you're a creep. Chose it because she's a girl. Let's see. Scrap metal welder. I buy scrap and we cut it up and we build it up and we've got quantities of it. Demolition! <laughs> well, I'm going to go with... Experience over beauty, I think. He just called you ugly. This <laughs> chap here looks like he could be a lot of use. I'll choose this man. What do you got? Motorsport technician. Yeah. A good one. I can weld. I can assemble the whole project. We can test it, run it, make it go bang. Because you've got a beard that looks like his. I'll choose you. Sorry, mate. Good to see it. <laughs> That's a big word, James. A pneumatics engineer is someone that builds a vacuum system and can, can control the air to make it suck stuff. OK, we're on. Let's awesome. Go. Great. Hey, Someone grab the vacuum. Can we see what we missed out on? Fabrication apprentice. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> okay. Let's, cool. Cool. Let's, right. go. Let's do it. We're on. Good Coleman, on. bring it. it. The teams now only have a weekend to make a more powerful vacuum cleaner, focusing on fine <laughs> dust particles, on, which are not collected normally. We need to what, Paul? Make that? the engine bigger. Yeah, bigger engine, more suck, more dirt comes up. Mm. What's other ways we can create um, suction? Pneumatics engineer, please enlighten us. Well, the traditional way is having a motor inside the system that basically is a fan motor, so it sucks, it's turning and it's sucking air through it. What could we do that's not a motor? <sighs> we could use a Venturi. Pagey's team settle on a Venturi system, which works by firing compressed air through a chamber that narrows to a pinch point and then expands again. The air is forced to accelerate and creates an area of low pressure. By making a hole at the pinch point, it will, in theory, create a lot more suction than a normal household motor. But designing and building a Venturi is a very tricky task, and Pagey's team may struggle to complete it in a weekend. If it was solely up to me, I'd be going with your V8 or your uh, rotary engine or something like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, but you use a V8, you've still got to create a vacuum. You've still got to have some sort of impeller winding round. Mm. So we've got to have the impeller, so we use a turbo. What's easier than a V8? Let's just put loads of gas in, lots of fire, spin it real fast. You're essentially saying that you make a, a jet engine powered vacuum cleaner, is that yeah. what you're saying? Yeah. <laughs> We are very lucky to have Paul in, in our team, aren't we? We are lucky to have him, actually. Yeah, yeah Gerardo, that's exactly right. Coleman is a bit of a buff head and wants to make a vacuum powered by a jet engine. Their idea is to feed LPG and compressed air into a chamber. By then creating a spark, it will ignite. The force of this combustion will spin an old truck turbo. This effectively acts like an air pump and creates an area of low pressure. They propose to attach a hose to the turbo to make it work just like a vacuum cleaner. Just way louder and more awesomer. So what do we need? OK, first thing, we've got to get a turbo. Once they've finished their designs, the guys write up a shopping list of parts and equipment they'll need to make their machines. LPG. Yeah, we've got to that for the flames. Yeah. Get James can't write left-handed. Coleman's team is first out, and Paul is sent out on a part-finding mission. All right. Go. Pagey's team is out of the shed in second place, with Nicola driving off to get their stuff. 
Without parts, there's nothing the teams can do but wait. You can hear them, do you The guys hear a ute arrive and scramble to see who's first back. Even though Pagey is putting on a brave face, his little heart is breaking because he knows Coleman's team now has a head start, something Pagey desperately needed for his complicated design. So that's a real truck turbo that should keep us going. I don't know how can I weld, but I can entertain you. Oh, yeah. Let's go for it. Thank you. OK. Yeah. Look at the size of this turbo, man. It's good. That'll be the mariachi player. Whilst that gets um, over to the workbench, we'll probably need to do some... Do you play guitar? No. Two hours later, Nicola finally returns and Paige and Ben hurry to get the gear in. They've already started. They've already started, so just get it straight to the shed. We need to cut the square off, so we'll get the grinder, cut off oil, mm. cut the square out of there, we can weld that on, spark plug in the side, yeah. turn the gas on. Never actually built a jet engine. I've built many things that have turned into things like jet engines, but uh, no, never actually built a jet engine before. OK, guys, mind your eyes welding. As Coleman's team get into their build, Pagey is still having a little trouble getting his head around the Venturi concept. So we're going to have a, we have to build a triangle, a, a, a cone. We're going to have to build a cone so, that comes in here. So yep, this, is, say right. this is where the air comes in. Yep. That's so we're right. We have to fold a piece of metal. Yeah, and we're going to create almost two cones, so you get, uh, it's called the diffuser, the, the bit that happens in here. Yeah. So okay. as the air comes in, it's accelerating, and yeah. you've got air coming from the side, so you're going to have some kind of cone system here, you're going to have air coming yeah. here, and this is going to go to the vacuum hose. Now, Nicola, it has to look exactly like this. If you can make it look like that, then that's great. Yeah, we'll have it like that, but I want it to be the other way around. I wouldn't know anything about the that. design. <laughs> I just get told to do stuff and bam. You need to make two sides like that. You're gonna make it, you know, like the, when you're vacuuming, like this thing. We need to make a triangle, though, like a big... Like a, like a triangle that comes down like this. I mean, as long as I can lift it, because I have to drag it around. While Paging Nat is on, Coleman's team are ready to test their combustion chamber. All right, so uh, here we've got our combustion chamber. We're introducing compressed air in there. We've got LPG fed in there into the uh, little combustion chamber. We've got this wind speed meter so we can find the best mix of gas and air to get the maximum amount of boost. OK, let's test this, boys. We're cool? OK, we're cool. Okay. If all goes well, the gas will ignite, creating an increase in pressure and eventually suction. The trick is to get the right mixture of LPG and air. The power of this exhaust will be measured by Gerardo using the wireless wind speed meter. We are putting a lot of positivism and uh, enthusiasm. A really, really excellent team. Uh, it's working, it's working. Shut it down. OK, Gerardo, so what do we get? What's the wind speed? Nothing. OK, cool. Well, let's build. Everyone has been working for half a day, and Coleman's team, stoked with the success of their combustion chamber, are already assembling their turbo. We're going to win this competition while Pagey's team are still yabbering and haven't started their build. Pagey doesn't do a damn thing. <laughs> kind of have no idea really what we're going to how to do this, but you reckon this would be the good for the body of the... Um... Venturi? That, yeah. yeah, that's fine. We're going to be cutting it back to the right size, yep. but we want to make sure that we've got a matching airflow oh. going through. Pagey, <laughs> knock, knock. I knew you'd come in, mate. Nothing's What's that? that? I don't think you'll get it. You're going to clean the carpet with a Vuvuzela? It's, um... Oh. No, that's great. Looks like you're in good hands. <laughs> it's fine, mate. I mean, okay. you know. No, cool. Just checking. Could you some um, out, please? Yeah, looks good. No, it looks like you're under control, He's bro. Okay. Well done. <laughs> See ya. <laughs> anyway, okay. ni nice work. If you can put two scoops of ice cream on it as well, <laughs> I'll be sweet. Good work, Nicola. Got to work, please. This is the suction pump inside the vacuum cleaner. So you've got the gas turbine spinning that, yep. driving the suction pump. Yeah, that's the same as what your vacuum cleaner's got inside. And we get suction from one end 
Yep. Blow out the other end. Perfect. Absolutely brilliant. This is going to work a treat. It's going to yep. be big, noisy, hot, dangerous. Loving Good it. vacuum. Great vacuum. Pagey wants to add a new element to his machine. He wants to blow compressed air into the carpet to dislodge fine dust particles. Then, as they blow into the air, capture them with the Venturi. It's a good idea, but makes the build a lot harder. Well, he's making a dust cloud and then suck it up. It sounds cool, but I'm not sure it's going to work how you want it to. Yeah, it's kind of like sucking and blowing out the same straw. It's going to be tricky to, to get it done on time, I'll tell you what. What exactly are you doing? I'm um, putting together this, um, this electronic part. <coughs> Gerardo, the mariachi singer, has been given the relatively simple task of assembling a Jacob's Ladder. What do you know about the Jacob's Ladder? Uh, not much. <laughs> <laughs> the Jacob's Ladder is an electronic circuit that sends out an intermittent charge to fire off the spark plug. It will be responsible for igniting the gas and air mixture in the combustion chamber. Following up on Pagey's idea of blowing dirt out of the carpet, his team have made a blower and are ready to test it. They need to find the right holes to pressure ratio for the pipe. They start with three holes. OK, drill more holes. How many did you do? Six, man. Not seven? No. You six is better? Six is good. Why? Because it's easier to add another hole than it is to take one out. OK, That's you reckon nice. if we get too many holes in this, it's going to lose its power? Is yep. that what you, that's what you're saying? All right. Oh, oh yes. Beauty. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you get a mouthful. Now that works. Wow. They now know the blower works, but still have to build their Venturi to suck it up. Come on over. We know the combustion chamber works. That's fantastic. Powering out flames. Got a bit of boost there, so that's good. Gerardo has made this Jacob's Ladder, which is... Well, do you want to...? I follow a map that uh, um, this ignite the... Uh, Spark in there. Excellent. No, I trust you. I think that sounds great. OK, let's get this thing running. It's compressed air to the oil system. Team Coleman moves outside and they begin attaching the combustion chamber to the turbo. I think that's it, gentlemen. I think we should get this thing cranked and see how it works. Introduce the LPG. I can smell gas. Here it comes, here it comes. Come on, man, come on. Yep. Here he goes. That's it! Yeah! Woohoo! Hell. Coleman decided he'd mess around with the turbo when we we're going to test it. So, of course, coming to the test, and we've produced way too much smoke and not enough suction. He had to adjust everything up to the maximum, and the oil just flooded the turbo. There was just too much. It burst the seals, and everyone saw the results. We've got to get another turbo, man. Yeah? Yeah. His team now have to wait while Paul goes to get another turbo, giving Pagey's team a bit of time to make up on some lost ground. Beautiful. <laughs> Thank you, Meg. Awesome. That's not... That's out? Riding it? Bad idea? What about, um... Shoulder? Oh, like that? Oh, back. Oh, back. I like that. that. Yep, that's like good. It. Make, it, make it work. Yeah. It's gonna look mean. What, what, if it, what if I suck up a stone? Will it go through my brain? Mmm, you'll be right. An hour later and Paul is back with a new turbo. Coleman's team now have to work fast to repair the damage done to their vacuum. I'll do the pipe there. OK. Spark plug. My vacuum cleaner is going to work. I had two smart boys designing it and, of course, I made it. Oh, yeah. It's early evening and Pagey's team are finally able to test their machine. They already know their blower works, but Pagey wants to make sure the Venturi is creating enough suction. So I'm just going to create what would look like a regular household spill here. 
It's gonna work, okay? It has to work. It's gotta work. We have no other choice. It actually has to work. And here we go. Give me some blow action. Ready, go guys. The, go the here we go. More, 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 more. That is freaking phenomenal. Look at that. What time is it? Um, a atmospheric pressure is yeah. perfect at this time of night yes. for a test like yes. this, bro. Okay. While KG got a small amount of suction, it still needs a lot of development. Both teams now work into the night to ready their machines for the challenge in the morning. Paigey looking for more suction, Coleman looking for more power.